Logs. Logs. Log. Andy. Six. And you're just watching a log. Log. Logs. Logs is one of my fondest memories. That log has always been kept secret. Logs. It's what everybody's talking about. But why? If you are an extremely intelligent individual seeking fulfilling stimulation, you have likely browsed formerly known under the stage name Andy Six, is an American <laughs> musician and founder of rock band, The Black Veil Brides. In the beginning of his career, he wore hair extensions and glam rock makeup, but has since abandoned the Andy Six persona. During the 2010s, yeah, he amassed a large cult following, becoming a sex symbol and idol to many girls. Who? The first series of images <laughs> featuring Andy Six, edited with feces overlaid, began appearing on the B-board often in late 2015, <laughs> along with the declaration of Look wanting to curls, suck these logs dude. down his throat. <laughs> often he would simply post an image of Andy with the question, would you? When this user, known as the original log poster, was questioned on his motives, he would reply in the character of a loyal servant to Andy Six. He claimed he was simply performing his duty because he was entitled to these logs, and he deemed the users that insulted him... <laughs> oh. oh, shit. That's funny. Angola. <laughs> Him unworthy and told them to grow up. A copy pasta was being circulated, now known as the shit baby copy pasta. <laughs> the shit baby copy pasta. I used that log of shit as a dildo. Oh my God. <laughs> which involves a possibly fictional encounter between Andy Six and a fan. <laughs> oh, there's another six minutes of this. Backstage. The pasta was notable for its absurdity, but users didn't give much thought to it at the time. It was only the beginning as this would mark the start of log <laughs> and log oh, man. culture sliding into 2016 more threads about Andy Six's logs were being created sliding into 2016 more threads about Andy Six's logs were being created now by different people besides the original log poster who had vanished <laughs> This faction of dedicated log posters came to be known as the Black Veil Brides Army. They claim it is their duty to fight for the unalienable right to consume Andy Six's logs. <laughs> they are purportedly led by the six-star general Andy Six himself, with many other high-ranking soldiers. The frequency and intensity of the log posts had begun to anger users, and they would come in to log threads to raid. Log posts had begun to many other high-ranking soldiers. The frequency of <laughs> Creepy, dude. <laughs> Steamy, creamy, dreamy. That's so creepy. And intensity of the log posts had begun to anger users, and they would come in to log threads to rage and insult the log posters, which in turn attracted more attention to the posts. These hateful users would come be known as logless shills. At this time, an unrelated image of Aerosmith singer Steven Tyler and Onion Rings was picked up by log posters and introduced into the log verse. He is a long time. That's so good. That's so good. Time friend and ally of Andy this Six so and the BBB <laughs> Army. Steven Tyler's Dude, onion rings are said to be the best in the world, and he loves eating them. Steven Tyler <laughs> and Andy Six are commonly mistaken for the pair of friends, Steven and Maurice. <laughs> Maurice. Steven is in a hovercraft, and Maurice is an emu with an Andy Six face. Neither are Andy Six. Another important addition to log lore is the rise of Danny Filth from the metal band. Cradle of Filth. 
and his followers, the streamers. Oh, that's what's up. Danny Filth is the antithesis to Andy Six. His followers are after streams of his warm piss rather than creamy <laughs> logs. He is said to reside in Filth Castle, located in the underworld, where he tortures log posters who wander too close. A close friend of Danny Filth is a Turkish man by the name of Mehmet Hussein. After an incident in the Journal Derma nuclear facility, Mehmet had become irradiated and gained special powers. He is known for a different bodily fluid, which is said to taste of MNMs. On July 11, 2017, the most notorious log poster, known as Animator Man, created his YouTube channel. He would post log-themed videos sporadically, but was still obscure until his videos attracted more attention in 2018. By then, he was posting a new video weekly. His channel would mark the start of LogTube and inspire channels such as Werner Banan, Diogenes <laughs> Workshop, Figging Gape. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and more as <laughs> Werner Banan, Diogenes Workshop, Figging Gate, and more. His first appearance on camera was garbed in a Pennywise the Clown costume known as Shitty Wise. This is where he would create his signature catchphrase, All future video appearances would feature him in a clown outfit and mask, later switching to face paint. His consistent yeah, right, log posting on B and YouTube helped to centralize the log community Seems and like make it what it is today. Animator Man is said by Logless Shills to be behind all of the log posting and even creating it, but this is a common misconception, and he regularly denies the Joker claims. wouldn't get it. His YouTube channel was deleted in April like, oh, 2022 really? oh, when gross. all his videos were lost, but many were archived and re-uploaded on his new channel, created hours later. Oh. He took a small break after this and would continue to create weekly log videos even to this day. Animator Man would become a household name by 2021, garnering a shout out from YouTuber Styx Hex and Hammer. Number four would be Animator Man. Now, this is part of the log posting movement. What's log posting? <laughs> Just Sticks talking Andy about log logs posting. And you'll, you'll find out. And even a message from Andy Beersack himself. Jokingly telling he's, his he's close been having to a log hard time. The internet. You heard of that? Animator man. Animator yeah, man. he's uh, he was like divorced man. his wife. By yeah, so, but he was like a handful of like, log-centered websites like had posting. Been made. One notable he one was being the Wix site, like which was essentially a log news and that blog. He like never left the, the house, and that he was drunk twenty-four hours a day. That's what she said. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why she's left him. This blog uh, would create nearly 100 articles not wearing his covering real-world stories centered around How Andy Six's BBB army you know and I their mean? feuds with the likes of the streamers, the Blood on the Dance the Floor Air Force, and the Nirvana blog. Navy. This website would eventually be taken <laughs> down, but its content has been reposted That's and good. continued elsewhere. The log posting movement would only continue to grow in both supporters and adversaries. The untimely fictitious demise of Corey Harrison <laughs> yeah. from Pawn Stars was also added to the topics the log posters would discuss, saying stars. blessings such as so Heaven awesome. has gained the an death angle. Becomes him. One discuss, saying blessings. <laughs> Is he dead? Did Corey from Pawn Stars die? No, he's alive. No, no. Such as Chum Lee dying was a rumor too that was going around. For That's awesome. Time. That's so awesome. Heaven has gained an angle. One specific user in opposition of Andy's logs had posted screenshots of the log Discord server and talked poorly about the log community and Animator Man, claiming that log posters were mentally ill attention seekers. An yeah, investigation son, found him off. to be a high-ranking member of the log Discord <laughs> named Eustace. He was promptly removed from the server but continued to post in log threads. <laughs> now, any poster who speaks ill of log posters are called Eustace, and portrayed with an image of Eustace Bags from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Other logless shills have also popped up to combat log posting, such as Spinel or Bandana. Their efforts have been in vain. Currently, the log community is as strong as ever, and the BVB army recruits new members daily. The first log video game, a Doom mod. Does he know about it, I wonder? Because he's not like a huge celebrity, you know what I mean? Like, where he'd be like kind of insulated from... 
Yeah, he probably does. Yeah, like, that's how wild. wouldn't you? It's he does. Oh, he does. Known as Poom Miasma Massacre, was released in December like, 2022 by Figging Gape to critical acclaim. <laughs> this is an ongoing bod. project which features <laughs> new levels, weapons, enemies, and more. The game has an end goal of 27 levels, with six already released. We have seen the extent that these super fans have been going to show their adoration for Andy Six for the past seven years. Daily posts, music, videos, poetry, all revolving around Andy Six's poop. In reality, <laughs> Andy Beersack has a ton of fans that would do anything for him. The log posters are parodying these fans by going so far to show their adoration for Andy that they would even do the foul act of consuming his feces. Another motivation still for a log thing. post comes from the board they post on. What? Eating Browsing poop? the random <laughs> board's catalog no, just will actually find you very like predictable that. content. Threads that for music. miscellaneous nude photos. I can't be. This is a far cry from a board which was once known for its original content and site-wide orchestrations. Therefore, log posters are actively attempting to disrupt these coomers and bring some randomness back to the random board. It all boils down to a single question. Would you? Hmm. That was funny.